I believe so. I think most people believe that where life began on the planet was more than likely in a geothermal spring. So you're looking at the basis of life. And what's interesting about this is, you know, when we found the hydrothermal vents in 77, you had the giant clams and the tube worms and you had all this megafauna. We don't have any megafauna here. This is almost a bacterial driven life system. And I think this is what you want to study because it's the fundamental system on which the other things are dependent upon. Well, we're looking at uh, the water coming out of varying temperatures. You'll see the shimmering water off to the left, and then you'll see the bubbling water, and then you're looking at the deposits it's laid down, which is what we just sampled. And then you're looking at the organic growth on top of the deposits. Biologists love it because of the life it's, it supports. Chemists love it because it's all about the chemistry of the planet. Geologists like it. Physicists like it because it helps calculate the heat budget of the planet. Hydrothermal vents, everyone loves. This is the Van Dam vent system, pretty much in the central part of the Mid Cayman Rise. That is a lot of shine. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Right now, we are looking at some white shrimp. They're really fascinating creatures. We actually know that they're white because they don't have any pigment. They actually also don't have eyes. They have more like light sensors that help them move around. Uh, so really fascinating creatures. Look at that right there. That's hold on that. Let that work for you for a minute. Just hold that shot. Continue that. That's very cool. Oh, it's very hot, actually. So a hydrothermal vent is essentially a fissure in the planet's surface and there's geothermally heated water coming out of it and they're only found near uh, volcanically active places so where tectonic plates are moving apart and these hydrothermal vents will form these black smokers. Bob Ballard was actually the first person to discover hydrothermal vents in the Galapagos. We were just discussing earlier on in the cruise how there's an amazing gradients at these chimneys. So within the black smoke, you might have really high temperatures, really high concentrations of a lot of those heavy metals. But if you were to move maybe a meter away or down the side of the chimney, um, you would transition to a lot colder water and lower concentrations really rapidly. So that allows some of the biology to live really, really close, but not quite inside the mouth of the chimney. For our viewers just joining us online right now, we are at the Endeavor segment of the Juan de Fuca Ridge, the spreading center in between the Pacific Plate and the Juan de Fuca Plate off the coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. It's pretty amazing. That's huh? incredible. We are over two kilometers below the surface of the ocean right now, and sunlight attenuates far before that, which means that all of this life just about all the life right around the vents is actually based on chemosynthesis, which is the reduction of hydrogen sulfide by chemosynthetic bacteria that have mutualistic relationships with a lot of the animals here. So we are at the main Endeavor field, which is the most active segment of five hydrothermal vents within the Endeavor segment. We've been particularly careful in this environment. It's thrilling visually to see, but you know, high blood pressure inducing for pilots to fly in an environment like this where there are these hot fluid smokers in all directions. 1.3 miles underwater, finding something that's 326.6 degrees Celsius over three times the boiling temperature of water. Absolutely oh incredible. We will also be setting up an instrument at this location, the benthic and resistivity sensor, the BARS instrument, that will be here to collect continuous data over the next year or more. So those of you who are just tuning in, we were just um, sampling some tube worms at a hydrothermal vent site. We are at an area called North Guaymas Black Smoker. We're in the Gulf of California currently, and this is the first dive for Nautilus in these Mexico waters. We are looking to characterize some of the different vent structures, looking at some of the biology and the venting that's occurring at these sites. That's great. It's a great picture. Very vertical. This is gorgeous. That's amazing right there. Gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 